What is up guys? My name is Nick and welcome back to another Fortnite video. In this video guys, this is a pretty good one. I'm going to be teaching you how to hit sniper headshots every single time. You guys are going to knock these players down so fast. And if you look at this clip right here, I'm going to be using this as the main example to teach you guys what to do within Fortnite. Now sniping is very, very simple once you know this easy little trick. And I'm going to teach this to you guys right now. When you guys are going to go out there, you're going to snipe in Fortnite and you're going to be knocking everyone down. They're not going to know what's happening and it's just gonna be absolutely amazing so guys make sure to drop a like on this video if you guys want to be pro snipers and let's just get straight into it so guys there's one little sy system that you guys need to know it's a very simple trick and you need to know this in order to hit those sniper shots if you're the type of player who is taking shot after shot and always missing especially when your target is standing still this is going to help you out tremendously so this is going to work with the scoped snipers it's not going to work with the hunting rifle unfortunately but who cares these are the snipers that do more damage Damage, and this is just gonna knock people out every single time so what you guys got to know first is how to tell how far your enemy is you can't just tell how far he is by looking at him you actually have to use the scope of your sniper I'm gonna teach you guys how that works and then I'm also gonna teach you guys where to shoot in order to hit this all and that's very important you guys are gonna watch that I'll talk about that in about a minute here but let's first talk about how to tell how far your enemy is so if you look at this photo right here that I'm gonna be using to show you guys to demonstrate everything there is actually eight lines on the bottom horizontal line or I should say vertical line of your crosshair there's eight little lines drawn there and those are not there just for decoration those are actually there to tell where the distance is and because Fortnite has bullet drop-off this is very very important within the game and this is gonna help you guys get shots like crazy so if you want to know where to aim at the person you got to make sure you know how many lines are on his body now if you guys want to make your accuracy even better make sure to get yourself a pair of control freaks using code it's for 10% off they're things that you attach onto your controller and it gives you a lot more accuracy and they're pretty inexpensive starting at around ten dollars and only going as high as probably 20 so might as well do it use code it's Nick guys 10% off so from 0 to 50 meters all of those eight little lines are gonna be within his body his body is gonna fill up that whole entire section and that's gonna tell you that he's really close so from this distance all you really have to do is shoot towards his head and you will get the headshot you don't have to shoot lower you don't have to shoot higher just shoot directly at his head and you will get it we're gonna move on to 75 meters and what you're gonna want to do at 75 meters is you're gonna want to aim the first line at the neck so the second line that the end the middle I should say of your crosshair should be towards his forehead and this is actually gonna get the headshot on point then we're gonna move on to 100 meters and here's where it gets a little more complicated because here's where you actually have to start counting and aiming your scope a little higher than the person's head so what you want to do right here is that you want to aim the third line at his hips so the third line is going to be at his hips the, the main line is still going to be towards his head the main center of your scope is still going to be towards his head but you want to make sure that you actually get that kill going down to 150 meters you want to get that third line to be towards his hip he's getting a lot further now so the lines are going to be getting a lot smaller his character is smaller so he's going to be a lot harder to hit you want that third line to be directly on his hip as well and then you shill you should be able to get that and it will be a lot easier to get those headshots as well now guys this is such a simple trick and then once we get into the higher areas the 200 meters or the 250 meters that's where it gets a little more complicated because this is where the enemy's body looks very very small and this is where you guys have to make sure that you hit those hits. Now, before I tell you guys the distance for that and how many lines you need, I just want to let you know that if your character, if the person is running and he's moving in a weird direction, try to wait until he until he gets to the most still point of the match. Wait, wait until he stands most mostly still within your gunfight with him. And that's when you guys should take the shot. Now, just know that the bullets, they, they take a while to reach the enemy. And you just, you gotta line up those shots properly. I can't teach you guys how to line up these shots properly, but I could teach you where to shoot on his body in order to get those headshots. Now, if you wanna leave your shot, guys, that is a whole different story that we will talk about in another video because it's going to be a long one to explain. But going back to actually getting these headshots, for the 200 meters, you wanna get two and a half lines within his body so that's that's going to be a little more difficult you want to hit that one towards his hips so your crosshair is going to be a lot over his head at this point it's get you will not be aiming directly at his head but when the bullet does drop down to him it will hit his head and then going to the 250 meters you guys want those two lines and it has to be at his hip as well because his body is going to be very small from 250 meters and uh, it's going to be a little hard to hit now going further and further if we hit like the 500 meter mark 
that's where it gets really complicated. That's where you want like the last line to be on his hip or something like that. And those shots, by the by the time you shoot a 500 meter shot, those ones they get very lucky. Like 300 meters plus, I would be I would say is all about luck because you could shoot that shot while he's standing still, but chances are he's going to move out of the way while the bullet is still in the air. Now the good thing about this tutorial, guys, it doesn't matter if you're uphill, it doesn't matter if you're downhill, and it doesn't matter if you're online with the enemies. This will help you guys out tremendously. You could shoot them from above, you could shoot them from below, and this will still apply. These tricks will still apply. So let me guys, let me know down in the comments below, guys, if this does help you out. Let me know, guys, are you a good sniper or are you a bad sniper? I would say within Fortnite, when the enemy is standing still, I hit most of my shots. When the enemies are moving, I hit maybe 50% of my shots, but I'm not a bad sniper. I'm starting to read where people are going more often, and that's the most important thing when sniping in this game. You gotta read people. If they're jumping a lot, then you gotta take your shot where you think they're going to jump. If they're running around in different directions like a zigzag, you gotta read that zigzag and take that shot and hope it hits. Now guys, I want you to I want to leave you with this one last little tip here. You miss every single shot that you don't take. And pretty much what that means, guys, is take every single shot, take every single chance, and chances are you will be hitting a lot more than if you take zero shots whatsoever, because with zero shots, well, you're not hitting anything. So you, I would rather you guys miss the shot than not take the shot whatsoever. Now, this should help you guys knock people out a lot quicker instead of hitting their legs and stuff. And the main problem people have in Fortnite is that they try to shoot with the middle of the crosshair at the head. You gotta aim that a lot higher, especially the further they get. And hopefully this guy can help you out a lot guys and uh, if it doesn't well I just just watch it again it, it should help out a lot more now guys this this is very very good for scoped weapons as well in Fortnite like the the uh, AR it kind of follows the same concept and stuff like that make sure guys to leave a like on this video subscribe to my channel for more tips like this and you guys will be great Fortnite players by the end of this month I guarantee it and the month is ending very soon so there you guys go turn on notifications my name is Nick and I'll catch you in the next one Peace.